Okay, now, uh, still on the subject of, uh, of Jim Brown, there's a famous photograph that I know a lot of fans that'll hear this will be able to identify with. There's Jim Brown, Muhammad Ali, John Wood, Bill Russell, Kareem Jabbar, uh, Curtis McClinton, and a few others I can't think of right now. Uh, Bobby Mitchell, I think, is on that photograph. Yes, Bobby Mitchell, Willie Davis. And Willie Davis. Okay, I mean, tell us about how that group, how that contingent, I came together. We know it was for the benefit of, of the support of Muhammad Ali, who was going through uh, some draft issues during that period of time in history. But um, explain how that group of brothers came together. That group is a, a group, first of all, all of the guys that you mentioned there, Bobby Mitchell ran the office there. We had an organization called the NIEU, that was later changed to the Black Economic Union. This was an economic development program that was funded by the Department of Commerce under EDA there, under Reagan, and Ford Foundation. And we had offices in Oakland, Los Angeles, and Kansas City. Those men were running those particular offices and so forth. We had become friends, Ali was a part of our organization, okay. as I said to you earlier. Right. It was nothing for us to get a check from him for $5,000, okay. you know, to make sure that we had what we call seed money so that if a young black businessman come in trying to open up a business there in the community, we could loan him the money that he couldn't get at the banks, right? We could loan him the money without problems. So that's what that money coming from Ali and Russell and those guys did, along with Ford Foundation, which granted us a million dollars, okay? For just that purpose, which is on. Heard of. That's an incredible song. <laughs> At that time, you know, you know, million dollars might not be a whole lot today, but million dollars is a whole lot then. Right. But but it, as I said, this is how we now. That is the backdrop of what these men are. And as I said, Jim had become extremely close with Herbert Muhammad and John Ali. Okay. So. When the breakdown came and, and the champ did not step forward in Houston for the induction, and keep in mind now, this is draft. Right. So if you don't go to the service, you're a draft dodger and therefore subject to imprisonment. Right. So they were going to try to, that's what they really was intended to do, was to put him in prison. They immediately stripped him of his crown. Jim calls and says, get the guys together tell them to be in Cleveland on Sunday morning, we got to protect and support the champ. Right. As I said to you earlier, Leonard, the thing that got me the most, every single call that I made, not one guy said, who's gonna pay for this? Mm -hmm. 